Welcome to the Wind River 2 introductory training course. My name is Dan Murphy and I work in the field service department at Teradyne Audi Instruments where I respond to customer emails and phone calls regarding Teradyne Audi Instruments products. I have been with the company for 10 years. We will discuss collecting data from each of the ADCPs shown in the top left portion of the screen. The left picture shows the stream pro in the standard float. This float is good for water up to 1.5 meters per second. Notice the angle of the arm and the tag line, and that both of them form a straight line. Depending on the water conditions, you can adjust this angle. On the right is a picture of the high speed float. This float is good for about 3.5 meters per second water. Looking down the stream, the left bank will be on your left hand side and the right bank will be on your right hand side. The start point for your transect will be where you have two good bends consistently. The end point will also be a place where you have two good bends consistently close to the other bank. Note the distance from these points to the respective banks. Your transect will be between these two locations you can start on either bank. We recommend using a tag line. A tag line consists of a pulley on a pole on each side of the stream. The tag line will loop through both of these pulleys and form an endless loop. Attach the stream pro to the tag line using a separate short piece of line. Connect to the stream pro using your Bluetooth connection. Select the port number in this case 41 and then click test port. Start a new measurement. Click file, click new measurement, click configuration dialog. Wait for the wizard to find your stream pro. Enter the maximum water depth, transducer depth below the water surface and the magnetic variation if you have a compass. If your water depth is less than 1 meter and the water speed is less than 25 centimeters per second, then you will have the option to use water mode 13, the shallow, slow water mode. When using this mode, care should be taken to observe the data as you collect it in case the measurement criteria are exceeded. Proceed through the, ma proceed through the remainder of the wizard by clicking Next. Click the Acquire drop-down menu. Select Set ACP Clock. The Stream Pro Clock will then be set based on the lap time, date and time. Click Execute Self-Test. Observe that there are six passes and no failure. For this test, the transducer head should be in non-moving water. If you have a failure, you can investigate it yourself or contact us. Select Start Pinging from the drop-down menu or hit F4. After a few moments, observe the ensemble numbers are increasing and the date is correct and the time is incrementing. Next, you can start the transect. Select Start Transect or hit F5. Collect 10 ensembles at the start point as you enter the edge distance. Then move smoothly across the stream. Take three minutes, even if the stream is very narrow, for each transect. When you approach the end point, slow down and stop at the end point. Wait for 10 ensembles to be collected as you enter the edge distance. Select Stop Transect or hit F5. You have completed one transect. When you have completed your transect, it should look like this example. This picture here shows the earth velocity magnitude reference bottom track. Typically, you will collect four transects. If you're using a river ray, the Bluetooth connection is the same as if you were connecting to a stream pro. 
Notice the red box. The wizard configuration is grayed out. There are no values to enter as the river ray automatically configures itself on an ensemble by ensemble basis. However, you will need to enter the transducer depth and the magnetic variation. If you're using a Rio Grande, the wizard is similar in the sense that it's the same as the Stream Pro, except different values are used. These are based on the frequency and therefore the range of the ADCP. The wizard will select the water mode and the bottom mode based on the water depth and water boat speed that you entered. However, you can override these selections if you desire. This course was regarding data collection and we have some upcoming courses. The next one will be ASCII out, followed by compass calibration and data quality and finally moving bed test. I'll give you a moment here in order to read the details on any of the courses that might be of interest to you.